Hello everyone, it's Carrie. I hope you're all having a great summer. So Arteza was kind enough to send me some art supplies and I've been having an absolute ball trying them out. If you haven't seen the Arteza watercolor pencil review video, check it out in the iCard. In this video, the first part will be a review of the watercolor pans and sketchbook they sent. And the second part will be the mermaid watercolor painting I did for a mermaid for my patrons using these watercolors. Before we start, I just want to say I'm not the most professional watercolor painter. My main focus is my doll art, but when I can, I absolutely love, it's my very favorite pastime to do, to do watercolor art. So this is what I'm um, doing for my patrons. This is, um, I'm extra thankful to my patrons who support, makes it possible for me to spend time practicing my other art. So anyway, my point is because my main focus isn't drawing and painting on paper, my review is sort of from an intermediate perspective. So if you're a professional watercolor painter yourself, you may have a different opinion on this product than I do. So on with the review and stay tuned or skip ahead if you'd like to the speed paint of the mermaid art. So my first impressions of this pan set is I was just so excited. I um, absolutely for the longest time have been wanting a pan set like this. The size and the 36 pans. Um, opening up the tin, it just it's kind of your standard tin of this size. It gives you an extra row if you wanted to add some pans of your own. You can take the, the pans out and you can see there's extra mixing space. Um, some people I have heard don't like to have the extra pan or extra mixing space like to the right, not the lid side, but the other side. And I've seen that that's actually removable. You just, it's very difficult to put back on. Um, I was just pulling out some of my uh, half pans um, and I don't know if I mentioned but these are 36 half pans so I'm pulling out um, my extra half pans that I have where you can use watercolor tubes and, and make your own pan set and just kind of comparing them and seeing if they're the standard size and it looks like they are they're just the kind that are tapered off a little bit at the bottom So these uh, pans that I have, the extra half pans that I have, will fit in to that extra row if I wanted to add some extra colors. I noticed that the pans are a little bit loose, but I've also watched a couple of other reviews and have seen that that, that happens with some of them and you can just kind of curve back the little metal holder that holds them in just to tighten it up a bit if that bothers you. But everything's nice and sturdy with the tin and I'm at this point super excited to get started uh, with my paintbrush and start. So the palette has the little metal ring on the bottom so if you do field work or just like to hold the palette in your hand you can do that. It's just a standard watercolor 36 pan tin and this a 36 pan 36 half pan set uh, I believe it was $35 on Arteza.com which is a really great price for a 36 pan set. So they also sent these two sketchbooks. They are approximately eight and a half by 11 and they're watercolor sketch pads. It comes in a two pack and I believe it's about $29 for the pack of two. And I just opened this water brush pen that came with the palette, which is always awesome to get water brush pens. It's my preferred method of painting because I can control my water a little bit better being that I don't do it as often and I'm not as skilled and, and have enough practice to, to control my water. The water brush pens are really great to do that. Unfortunately, I think something was wrong with this one. I, tight, I, I tried to play with it and tighten it up, but when I held it upside down, the water just kind of poured out. I'm not squeezing there. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's just kind of pouring out of it. It's just way too much water. So I may have gotten a faulty one or something. So I decided to just use my watercolor round brush and just do some swatching in the watercolor pad that they sent. So I'm just adding a little bit of water and grabbing some of the color. The first thing I noticed, I did spray them down with water, which I usually do with my pans. Um, a lot of the most more inexpensive brands, they tend to be chalky. Like you can just like in feeling them, you can tell that they're a little bit chalky. And these didn't. These felt very creamy and 
just laying my paintbrush in them was just heaven, so I was so excited. The color just turns out very pretty, um, and this is just a part that's kind of hard for me to, to judge as a professional because, um, like I said, like you can see there, I just don't know how to control my water as well as I would like. So um, I think, to me, the color saturation was just beautiful and nice and rich colors. And in fact, I have watched a few other videos of reviews of these colors in this palette. And I noticed that a lot of other artists are just thrilled with them. So I guess it's, uh, I guess it's mutual. It is a beautiful palette. Um, I did also watch some videos on the watercolor sketch pad and heard that some other artists had some issues with it not drying fast enough. Here's a little sketch that I did just practicing, getting uh, laying out the colors. and I did some thumbnails of the mermaid that I was going to do just to kind of gather what kind of colors I wanted to do. And there's my sketch. But um, So I decided to use, um, since I was doing this for my patrons, I decided to use the... Uh, some Canson watercolor paper rather than the sketchbook that they sent, which I did do that other drawing and the swatching on. Um, I, I I did notice that the paper seemed that like it wasn't very firmly pressed. Um, I'm not sure of the actual uh, verbiage for that, but um, it, it just kind of felt a little cheaper than like some of the watercolor papers I've used in, um, in the past where it's nice nice and firm and tight pr tightly pressed if that makes sense <laughs> I hope that makes sense but um it just it wasn't um pre you could just tell it wasn't premium paper but it worked well for me it did ball up a little bit like some of the um, when you lay down the paint and then some of the paper comes up with it that did happen a little bit and I did notice like some of the other artists said that it did take some time to dry but there I loved how the paper had um, the pocket in the back and it had the elastic strap around it and it was just a pretty outside of it and I'm definitely going to be using it for a lot of practice and thumbnails and just as a regular sketchbook. So like I said, this is the mermaid that I'm doing for my carnival level patrons for May. They voted on um, a mermaid for May. And while I did do some thumbnails to determine the color, I probably, my composition isn't that great with this, so I probably would have done some thumbnails for how I did the layout a little bit better. I wasn't crazy about where your eye lands on the painting, but I guess I'm just um, being a little picky with myself. But I really enjoyed these watercolors. I decided to go with just purples and teals and pinks for the overall theme and just kind of keep the color palette range just within those colors. I wanted to do something a little bit different so I gave her a little bit of a purpley kind of magenta skin. And here I'm just laying out like a flat wash for the overall color and then I just layer in some shapes later. And while I prefer this paper, it it I noticed once using this Canson paper after using the sketch pad, it, it is a bit easier to work with this paper than it was the sketch pad, but like I said, I, I really like the sketchbook. I think it's a good value for two for approximately $29, and they're a good size, and um, just I think it's worth it, and I was really excited to have them. Now the watercolor pan set, I am just thrilled with. The colors are just laying out really pretty. They're washing really well. They're, um, 
the they're very bright and I did make some prints out of this I, I layered just a few colors and made the prints and I just they turned out better than any of the prints that I've done I think just because of the beautiful saturation of the color But like I said, I'm not a professional watercolorist. I don't do this often enough to be or feel professional. But I do um, really enjoy doing watercolors and do it kind of often when I have a chance. So I can compare this to a couple of other palettes that I've tried. I've probably tried um, several student grades and a couple of professional palettes. And this is really one of my very favorites. So I switched over to my water brush pen. So I'm not really sure what else to say about this palette other than I, I really loved it. I loved the choice of colors. I did notice that they didn't have, um, the blues were kind of unusual. There was They were missing um, a cobalt blue, I think. They're, um, looking back, I, I did this a, a week or two ago, so I can't really quite recall, but I noticed that there was there was a main blue missing, like the usual blue that you would see in most palettes. Um, but other than that, I think the colors were very well chosen to make a really nice palette. And I've used it several times since and always see it in my drawer and just want to pull it out and keep playing with it, but I don't have time. <laughs> So the supplies, the links to these Arteza uh, supplies will be in the description box below along with an affiliate link where I'll get a small commission if you do make purchases through that link. So your support there is greatly appreciated if you decide to buy one of these palettes or any of the other Arteza products. Well, they did send this stuff for free, and I'm so appreciative. Thank you so much, Arteza, for sending this to me. Um, they didn't tell me to say anything in particular about these products or give a good review. It was just an honest review of how I feel about them. And like I said before, check out the watercolor pencil set. There's a, a 72 set of watercolor pencils, and I did a review and used them on a doll like most of my videos are doll art. And I was really happy with those too. So check those out. I give, gave those a pretty thorough review since that was uh, what I normally use the products for. And so I did pull out some of those pencils to do some of the extra line work on the painting here. And I rarely very rarely use watercolor pencils for uh, painting and drawing other than the doll art so it was kind of fun to play with them but I don't think I was doing it right <laughs> I was just kind of adding it to areas that I wanted to make a little bit darker and pop a little bit but I really liked how they worked and I want to keep playing with them I have used some other watercolor pencils with some watercolor art in the past and I did notice that the saturation of the pencil 
on paper wasn't as rich as some of the other pencils that I tried, but to be fair, these are um, a lot less expensive than the ones that I'm referring to, like Caran d'Ache or Derwent. If you use them on paper, they just kind of saturate into the paper and just like melt away into watercolor. But these kind of, you could kind of still see the pencil marks and you'd have to add a lot of water and then the paper would kind of ball up so you could, they didn't saturate as well. But they worked really well for what I was doing with them here where I was adding them to the outline of the, like the little starfish on her, on her hair and uh, just to darken up some certain areas. And then I'd add the water to it and just kind of blend it in a little bit. So here I'm just doing my line work. I'm adding some pencil and then I'll go back with some ink and I just do a few like just layers of line work to finish it off. So I'll let you guys watch the rest of this in, in speed um, or sped up and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and if you like this video I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye! Thank you.